So you got yourself a brand new 2013 Tyrannus X9D, and you're excited to update the firmware to the latest version of OpenTX. But wait, your Tyrannus doesn't have a bootloader. I'm gonna show you how to update that today. I'm Jeff with Titan FPV, and you're gonna acquire some knowledge today. Almost all of us in the hobby are familiar with the Tyrannus. It's one of the best radios uh, in the hobby for a very long period of time. I just recently picked up this one to go alongside with my Tango 2 as either my backup radio or I'm going to use the uh, Happy Model Express LRS 2.4 gigahertz module in the JR Bay slot of this one. I picked this one up pretty much in unused condition, but I was uh, surprised to find out. Welcome to Tyrannus. The version of OpenTX on this particular unit is extremely out of date. And by extremely, I mean extremely out of date. Let's go into the menu option. And we're going to check. And it looks like we are running OpenTX version 1.1.02, which I believe is probably one of the original versions of OpenTX that the Tyrannus actually shipped with. So this is an ACCST version, which is one of the original versions. But uh, all the other ones that I've seen that weren't SEs were uh, plus. This is just an X9D. I think the latest is uh, 2.3.11, I believe. 2.4 is still on the cusp there, I believe. Uh, Edge TX may take the lead here over OpenTX shortly. But anyway, um, so generally, you're just gonna put this into bootloader mode and uh, either put the firmware on your SD card or connect it to a Mac or PC and flash it while you're in bootloader mode. So to get into bootloader mode, you are going to, while the Tyrannus is powered off, you're gonna hold both of the trims in and hold the power button. Welcome to Tyrannus. And as you see, uh, my Tyrannus just boots up, which leads me to believe that it doesn't even have a bootloader. So, uh, we're going to flash a bootloader today and get this puppy up to date. All right, first things first, we're going to download the Zadig USB driver installer so we can roll back the driver. All right, once we've got that installed, we're going to go ahead and open it up. We're going to connect our Tyrannus via USB with it powered off to our computer. As you'll see, uh, you're going to have to go down and select, go to options, uh, show all devices, and you're going to select the STM bootloader. Your version is going to have an, a different driver version there on the left-hand side. Mine's already been updated there, but uh, you're going to have the option to go ahead and uh, downgrade or rollback driver there on the button. You're going to click that. Uh, it's going to take a few seconds there and it's going to go ahead and uh, install the older driver that's going to be compatible so we can go ahead and flash the Tyrannus bootloader. Next we're going to download the latest version of OpenTX Companion. which at this time is OpenTX 2.3.11. 2.4 still isn't officially out. They do have nightlies of 2.4. I'm going to grab the Windows installer if you're using Windows. Once that's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and install Companion. Now I've already set up my radio in Companion but I'm going to walk you through how to do this. You're going to go into settings. You're going to select your radio type. In this case, mine is the X9D. A lot of you will have the plus, um, but I have the X9D. I don't fly helicopters, so I'm going to check the no heli tab. I'm going to create a folder to uh, do an SD card backup as well as just a backup. And I'll select the correct channel order for which uh, 
the original one for the Tyrannus is going to be AETR. And most people fly mode 2. And once you're done, you'll go ahead and hit OK to save that. I have previously downloaded the firmware file. Uh, when you set up uh, your radio, it will give the option to do so. So uh, I'm not having to download the uh, firmware. But we're going to click on Write Firmware to the radio. Uh, in this case, like I said, you'll select your firmware. Mine's already selected, which is 2.3.11. Uh, and then you're going to go ahead and click on Write to TX. One more thing while this is flashy, guys, you can go ahead and download the most recent version of the SD card contents when you're downloading the firmware for the radio. It should give you an option. You're going to take that and place it on the root of your SD card. All right, once that's done, uh, you can go ahead and disconnect your radio. We've updated our bootloader successfully and flashed the latest version of OpenTX. Power your radio on. You'll have to do a gimbal calibration and you're ready to go. Hope this was informative guys. Subscribe if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next one.